Welcome back to Safety Tech. And in this video, we're going to wire up a light curtain. But not just any light curtain, we're going to wire up the Red 4. Okay, so let's get started. Before we do, let's sort of set the scene of what we're doing here. So we've created a simulated machine. We have a power supply unit which brings the zero volts to this terminal. This is our zero volts terminal. And we have a positive wire bringing this terminal block to 24 volts. This terminal block is all to do with the connections for the light curtain, which we will discuss as we go. So we're going to be effectively controlling, monitoring, and switching the primary control element, which is in this case, two, safe, uh, two mini relays. These relays are gonna control the element that brings the machine on or off, such as the main motor, safety valves, whatever it might be. When, the, when these are switched on by the light curtain, this light will illuminate to show that the machine is running. So that's our sim simplistic system, which we'll talk about as we go. Also, we have a cable for our transmitter, which is just a five pin cable. And here is our transmitter unit here. And we have an 8-pin cable for the receiver unit, and here is the receiver guard here. Before we get started, it's really important to mention that with all light curtains, you need to make sure that the serial number on the transmitter matches the serial number on the receiver. Very, very important. If they're not a match pair, it means it's either not a safety guard or it's not going to work. Okay, let's start by wiring up the transmitter because that's really, really hard. We have to wire up two wires. That's it, that's all there is, just two wires. Now, on the transmitter, which is the five bin plug, the red wire is 24 volts. So we'll tie that in now. And the blue wire is zero volts. And now you can see there's our brown wire rather going to 24 volts and our blue wire going to, to zero volts. So now we can plug this in to the guard and that's the transmitter taken care of. Okay, so now we're going to wire up the receiver. This is where all the action happens. Now the Red 4 does not need a control unit. It does not need to be wired into any other device at all. All the electronics are built into the Red 4. This will directly control the machine without the need for any kind of interface unit at all. Now you can, if you want to, tie it into a safety PLC or a safety relay or some other controller if you want to, but it doesn't need it. That's one of the reasons why it's so easy to use, to install, to wire up, because there's no reason for anything else. It's just five wires, eight wires, I'm sorry. Okay, so what have we got? Let's start. So let's go with the power. In this case, the 24 volts is a blue wire. So let's tie this to 24 volts. I've never timed this, so I'm not sure how long it takes, but it doesn't take long. Okay, next wire is the red wire. And the red wire on the receiver is zero volts. Okay, once the power supply, that's the zero volts and the 24 volts has been connected, we can plug in our plug up here to the light guard. All right, next thing to do is our EDM circuit, which is external device monitor. So we'll start with the green wire. Now, 
And if we trace it, don't look at these colors as being compliant with any standards such as 60204. This is purely for illustration purposes only. We don't recommend you follow this color code. But here's a green wire. It comes out of the guard, comes along to the normally closed contact of our first contactor. It comes out through the other side and comes back in through the second contactor, also on the normally closed side, and then back through to this terminal, which is our yellow wire. This is the circuit that will monitor whether the contactors are functioning correctly or not. Okay, so now, we tie our brown wire to A1 of one of the contactors. This wire is going to put out 24 volts at one amp and it will drive, if you follow through, it will drive this contactor. So to drive the second contactor, we'll use the white wire, which also is 24 volts at one amp. That's it. Now it's wired up and it's ready to go. And we can prove it by plugging it in. Okay, so let's plug it in by connecting up our light guard and immediately you can see it's working. That's it. That's how hard it is. It's nothing more difficult than that. And as you can see, you don't need to worry about lining up the guard. It's very, very simple. I think there's lights in the way. There you are. One system functioning. And to show you the EDM circuit is working, if I jam this like this contactor in place, you can see it doesn't work. The light curtain has detected that this contactor has failed and won't start the machine until it's fixed. Now for the next two wires, we have a pink and we have a gray. And they are for muting inputs, which is going to be the topic of a different video. If there's any questions regarding the wiring up of the Red 4, shoot us an email or give us a call and we can discuss it. But if you want, you can buy a regular light guard and spend hours trying to wire the thing up. Or you can buy a Red 4, which is virtually plug and play. Have fun.